Hello everybody, my name is Tulibi and I'm back with another video about the essays that got me into college. So you might already know if you've watched one of my videos before that I applied to colleges in the 2019-2020 school year and I had a pretty successful year with college applications. So because of that, I started making videos to help all of you guys be as successful in your college applications as possible. So today, I am going to be sharing my tips and tricks with you guys to show you how I got into Vanderbilt University. So with Vanderbilt, I had a little bit of a unique situation and that I was accepted with a likely letter in February. So I knew a little bit before the regular date that application decisions are sent out that I had been accepted. So because of my likely letter, I was invited to participate in a program at Vanderbilt to kind of almost recruit, I think. And unfortunately, I was unable to attend because it was canceled because of Corona. So it would have been so amazing to attend, but I was never able to, although I still had my likely letter, which was really amazing and such an honor. It's not really something anyone expects to get. So it was so crazy that I did get one. And it was super, super exciting knowing that I had been accepted to do a college back in February. It takes a lot of stress off your shoulders for sure and it's a super super nice thing to hear back early. So on my computer I have pulled up Common App and right now I'm looking at the Vanderbilt University specific section under my colleges. So I see that they have a lot of general questions and it wouldn't be much help for me to read my answers on these because they're totally based on you. Like if you want to start in fall or spring, if you want to submit your ACT or not, and things like that. So I'm just going to be reading all of the specifics that will help you guys get a better idea of how I applied to Vanderbilt and how I got in. So when I applied to Vanderbilt, my top choice college was the College of Arts and Sciences, of course, because I applied as a neuroscience major. My second choice school was the Peabody College of Engineering, which I was far, far less interested in, and luckily I did get the College of Arts and Sciences when I was accepted. So then under the activities section, this is where the bulk of your supplementals are going to go. Here is where I included both my resume and my supplementals in the activities section of Vanderbilt's specific application. I did submit my resume and I would strongly, strongly encourage you to submit one as well. If you don't have a resume currently made, I would definitely encourage you to make one. There are so so many resources online from YouTube videos to websites and everything in between showing you how to make a really professional resume. I think your resume is super important especially when Vanderbilt only has one supplemental because your resume is really where you're going to be packing a lot of your achievements and information that other schools might get in their additional supplements here Vanderbilt only has one so you need to make sure that you're packing as much information into your resume that's relevant as possible. Other than your main essay for Common App the resume is really the bulk of what Vanderbilt sees that you don't have listed in your activities and honors. With that being said, of course, the supplemental essay is so super important. Schools that only list one supplemental essay put a lot of weight onto it rather than dividing it between two or three different essays. So the topic of the Vanderbilt supplemental essay is please briefly elaborate on one of your extracurricular activities or work experiences. 200 to 400 words. Again, since this is the one supplemental they're asking for, I would strongly encourage you to use as many of those words as possible. 400 is not a requirement, but I would definitely say 350 plus will create a super strong essay that gives them tons of information. So for this, I'm going to be reading my essay and then looping back and giving you some tips and tricks on how I would recommend that you write the essay. Again, this is totally a recommendation. I'm not encouraging you to use the same format as me. It's just meant to be a jumping off point like I say in all my other videos, if you try to copy or steal someone's essays from the internet, you're only doing yourself harm. It's not going to do you any good. Vanderbilt and other top colleges are going to know that they've seen a similar essay before and they're not going to accept a duplicate essay. They're looking for creativity, they're looking for originality, and so really the best essay is the one that you feel is unique and catered specifically for you to tell the college who you are. With that being said, here's my supplemental essay that I wrote for Vanderbilt. At 14 years old, I was only 4 foot 10 and weighed 95 pounds, about the same size as your average German Shepherd. This was one reason why it seemed laughable for me to join my school's weightlifting team freshman year. Nevertheless, my unconventional choice sparked a love for the sport that would follow me throughout the next four years. Now, as the captain of my school's varsity weightlifting team, I have learned perseverance and the sport has been a catalyst for personal growth. Practice and repetition are my keys to success. Each time I miss a lift is not a failure, but a learning opportunity. 
While weightlifting is commonly thought of as an individual sport, the team aspect is often overlooked. One of my favorite memories occurred during districts my freshman year. On my last lift of the day, in order to place and move on to regional competition, I had to attempt a weight that was 10 pounds over my previous max. After cleaning the weight and landing in a front squat, I thought there was no way I would be able to stand it up. But after I heard cheers from my teammates, I knew I had the strength to finish this lift. After jerking the weight overhead, I heard a roar of cheers from my teammates and was rushed into a group hug. In moments like this, it is the encouragement from others that makes every lift a team effort. Whether I am cheering on a teammate or helping a new lifter improve her form, I am constantly reminded of the countless hours of work I have put into the sport that has allowed me to succeed and grow to 5 foot 6 and 115 pounds. So that was the one and only supplemental essay that I wrote for Vanderbilt University and I really liked it. I thought that it explained something in my application that I wasn't otherwise able to explain, which is weightlifting. It's a super unconventional activity so I thought it would be perfect for the prompt. There definitely aren't a ton of female weightlifters and I thought because I was the captain it was definitely a very strong leadership point in my application. As you can see, the format I used was that I kind of took the beginning sentence and I tied it back in at the end and then between those two kind of buffer paragraphs, my intro and my conclusion, I was able to explain my captainship, explain how I helped other people, and also sandwich in an anecdote that explained why I loved weightlifting so much and why it was something that I was dedicated to for all four years of high school. I also love this essay because it showcased that I was a varsity athlete all four years of high school. That's probably not a common thing for many people, so it really played to one of my strengths. In essays like this, I love focusing on personal anecdotes that are super positive and encouraging. It kind of was meant to leave the reader or the admissions officer with feeling that I am a super strong leader, a positive person, and I love working with others. It shows both aspects of teamwork and leadership, which I think make a really strong essay, kind of contrasting both of those. I also thought one of my very strong points was taking weightlifting in an aspect that most people see it, which is a totally individual sport, and kind of flipping it on its head and showing that it's not totally individual and the team aspect is something that I really loved about it and something that is a lot more prevalent than most people think. With all that being said, here are some tips for you when you write your Vanderbilt supplement to help you start out on the right path. So first you have your choice of extracurricular activity or work experience. And whatever activity you choose is definitely the biggest part of this essay. Make sure it's something that you can write two to 400 words on. A lot of the time there's a great anecdote you have or a great story, but you hit that 150 words and you blank. There's not much else you can say. So when you pick that first activity, make sure that it's something that you can write a lot about and something that you really truly enjoy. I believe that the strongest essays about extracurriculars and activities and things like that are ones that take an aspect of your personality and explain it through the activity. So in my essay, I explained both leadership and how I was a very social person and how I kind of feed off the energy of others. I think essays like this are super strong and that they show an aspect of your personality that the college really doesn't get to see otherwise. You want to be able to convey yourself and your personality through words, which is a super difficult thing to do. When you read back through your final essay after it's written, I think it's super important to check to see if your personality shines through. It's a super, super important thing that they're not just words. They tell a story about who you are. That's so cheesy and I hate it, but it's really important that the colleges are able to see you and not just a flat out essay. Once you pick your extracurricular, you don't have to be set on it. You can switch back if you write a few words and you're like, ugh, hate that. Don't be afraid to drop an idea if you don't like it and move on. Also, when you're picking your activity, make sure it's something that you really feel a strong connection to because the colleges are gonna be able to see that in your writing. If you are picking an honor society that you've only been a part of for one year just to be impressive and to show that you are a part of one, it's gonna be kind of superficial and colleges will be able to see through that. If you wanna pick something super fun and kind of out there and have a fear of colleges not thinking it's impressive enough, don't do that. Don't do that. They really just want to see your personality. It's not about the extracurricular you pick. I don't know if it was a funny joke, but I also tried to include a little bit of humor saying that I was about the same size as your average German Shepherd. In my freshman year, I was really, really tiny. Believe it or not, I grew eight inches taller over the course of high school, 
which is kind of crazy. I did go into high school for 10, so I was tiny. I think that a really cool parallel that I have in my essay is that it shows growth. It says I grew from 4'10 to 5'6, but it also shows growth in that I was a little bit of a scared, timid freshman, and I kind of had this crazy idea to join the weightlifting team, and then I grew to be the captain, and I loved this team and my teammates and all that kind of thing. Uh, growth is a super great thing to show in an essay. Again, like I said in the beginning of the video, you only have one supplement, so try to use as many of those words as possible. They give you a pretty big range on word count here, 200 to 400 words. So just remember, whatever you can tell them in 200 words, you can say double in 400. Especially because of Corona, the interview process this year is going to be really weird. I have no clue what it's going to look like. Um, and I guess they're figuring that out as they go along, but they're going to get even less information about you from your interview. So using all of your words in your essay is going to be so incredibly important because this is how they're going to get to see your personality. Remember that you might not even get an interview this year. They're going to probably have to conduct all of their interviews over the phone this year. So that's really going to be tough to convey your personality over a phone call. Another tip is it's super easy to fall into that cliche extracurricular activity, wow, I love my team, blah, blah, blah. Showing teamwork is a really great thing, but it does get really cliche, especially when that's the only supplemental essay your academic advisor is reading over and over and over again. It's super easy to get stuck in those cliches. So whenever you read back through your essay, make sure you're looking for unique points of view and topics that you haven't seen before. If you are reading your essay and thinking, wow, anybody could write this, your admissions officer is going to think that as well. You're not really giving them any personal information about yourself, which is what they're looking for. Make sure when you write your essay, you inject your personality into it, whether that's through a story that no one else has, are jokes that make the admissions officer really like you a little bit more. Things like that that really just show them that you are unique and it's an essay that no one else could have written. In an essay like this, it's also important to remember that you can't try to fit too much into 400 words. If you want to tell them five different stories, it's going to seem like a jumbled mess skipping from topic to topic. So in a short essay like this, flow is super important. Make sure you go from point to point very smoothly and without jumping from story to story. All right, everyone, those are my very best tips and tricks for the Vanderbilt University Supplemental Essay. I really, really hope they were helpful for you guys, and when you apply to colleges, I wish you the absolute best. Be confident in your writing, and remember that you want something that is super unique and catered to you, so if you're reading back and thinking, holy cow, this is kind of crazy and it doesn't look like anything I've seen before, that's a good thing. It's unique, it's personal, and it's all about you. If you have any questions about Vanderbilt or any other school, please leave them in the comments down below. I try to answer as many as possible, and I also film videos answering your questions to give you super in-depth answers. If you want to see those videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Channel, I have tons of others posted. If this video was helpful for you, please leave it a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.